So this tutorial will guide you through the essential steps of using two features of the Nikon NIS software. Um, this will be denoised and enhanced. Firstly, I'll provide a general overview of the software, then I'll introduce you to the denoise module and how to use it. After that, I'll discuss the trainable module, enhance.ai, and walk you through the process of conducting image training. We'll also explore applying train modules to numerous images, and finally, I'll address the limitation of these modules. So, the NIS software is developed by Nikon. It is a commercial tool um, utilized by scientists and others to enhance images using artificial intelligence and deep learning. Quickly, deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which can be used to automatically process data. In this process, we provide the system with data from which it learns key characteristics. And through multiple training iterations, it accumulates enough information to autonomously process data. We don't have plenty of information concerning the artificial intelligence used in this software, but we assume that it is a unit architecture. Unit architecture is based and utilized to filter image, and it's based on convolution to filter this image. The deep learning approach is straightforward. There is a first phase called the training phase, where we present pairs of images containing a reference image and a training one, which is in our case noisy. Then the module descends disparities between these images, generalizi generalizing data and patterns between both. And after numerous training with diverse image sets, we transition to the implementation phase. So th the second phase where the trained network just gives us the desired output automatically. The AI module is structured in six modules. So three pre-trained modules and three trainable modules. We first have denoise to remove blur from image and remove noise especially. It's very effective, but it tends to smooth images. Then we have clarify that remove blur. We have restore that restore details that may have been smoothened or too much lightened. For the trainable modules, we have enhanced.ai, uh, the one we are going to focus on. It is very useful to restore image after teaching to the module certain characteristics. We then have convert, which predicts channels in images. And finally, we have segments, which is used to create a segmentation, like in image G with Weka, for instance. So now let's see how to use denoise.ai. So here is the NIS software, and here you have all the modules we've talked about previously. To denoise an image, start by opening the image using the file icon. Once it's open, simply click on the nis.ai and select denoise. There aren't any parameters, so just click OK. The process may take several seconds, and there you have it, you have your denoise image. We see that it is very well denoised, but it's also smooth, and we tend to lose certain details from the first and original image. So we will tr try to have a better denoising using Enhance AI. So we're firstly going to see how to carry out a training in NS.AI. So first, we need to gather our images. Quick note, I'm using the version 5.41 of the NIS software 
where you can train on multiple stacks of images, but the previous version, in the previous version, you are limited to training from just one stack. So first open all the training images and grab the reference image. Here I have chosen a reference image that is denoised and all the training image are from the same zone and have a different coefficient of noise and they are all salt and pepper noise. Now go to the file menu and hit merge channels. You can choose to put the reference image in the red component and the training one in the green or the opposite, but make sure you keep it consistent through for every stack you're going to do. Then click OK. You'll see your merge channel in the All tab. As I have chosen to put my reference image in the red channel, I can see it in the red tab. And in the green, I have my training image. Don't forget to save these merged images. Ideally, all in the same folder for easy access later on. Um, make sure you save them in the ND2 format or they won't be usable for training. Once all your stacks are ready, it's time to dive into the real training. Open the nis.ai menu and hit train enhance.ai. Click on add files and select all the stacks you've prepared earlier. Then we'll designate the source and the ground truth. So the source is the image the module learns from. So here it is our training image through the noisy image, while the ground truth is your reference. So choose the color channel, the color of the channels you've assigned for each. Since this is the initial training, we'll skip for the configuration and head straight to the output menu. Um, here pick a name for your file and decide where you want to save it. And to start the process, just hit train. Keep in mind, you can't choose fewer than 500 iteration in the parameters, but if needed, you can always stop the process by clicking on finish, as we did. We choose to do only 10 iteration. Once the training is complete, um, you can navigate to the folder where you saved your training. You'll find your training and your training loss chart, where you have all the data and the number of iteration you've done. Now we want to continue our training because it is important to train on several images so the module has enough data to be able to have an efficient denoising. So we head back to training. Click on the nis.ai menu and select train enhance as we done as we've done before. Choose the file um, containing your training data. Here I've already done it. Choose your channels. Now the key steps is to click on continue training. Next click on browse and locate the EAI file from your previous training session. Once you found it, specify a name and a destination for your current training and hit train to resume the process. Once 
Once we've completed all of our training sessions, it's time to put our model to the test by denoising a noisy image. For this demonstration, we will be using the training we've just done, but I'll show you a result we achieved with around 10 sessions, 10 trainings afterwards. Begin by opening the image you want to denoise, then head over to the nis.ai menu and select, select this time nsenhance.ai. Choose the appropriate training data by clicking on Browse, then hit OK. In the All tab, you see a merged view of the noise image alongside its denoise counterpart. The, the noisy image is visible in the Mono tab, while the denoised one can be found in the Red.ai tab. You can extract the channel you want by right-clicking on the tab and selecting Extract the selected channel. And there you have it, you have your denoised image ready to use. Then let's see a difference when we train on more image. So here on the left you have a denoised image. Um, this is a denoised version of the same noise image as previously, but we've trained on 10 sessions, so 10 images. And on the right you have our previous results. We can see that on the left it is smoother, there is less noise, and on the right we have a lot of noise and Finally, on the left, there is more details. We saw that the results are quite good and the denoising is effective. However, there are still limitations inherent to this software and its module. First, we can't parameter our training. There are only few parameters that can be modified. Then we only have the training loss chart and the validation chart would be crucial for identifying our overfitting, which occurs when the model becomes too accustomed to the training data and fails to generalize well to new data. And by monitoring both the training loss chart and the validation chart, we can discern overfitting patterns. Because initially, both losses decrease simultaneously. But eventually, while the train loss continues to decrease, the validation loss starts to increase. Indicate, and this indicates overfitting. And this absence of validation chart hampers our ability to effectively mitigate, mitigate overfitting during training session and choose the number of iteration wisely. Then we are restricted to using approximately 10 stacks of images per training session. This is limiting the amount of data we can leverage and if we could put more stacks we would have a more efficient denoise using less images. And finally the training has to be done on the same noise as the noisy image and only on one noise. The training will be efficient only if we train on image that has, for example, salt and pepper noise and denoise salt and pepper um, image. But if we want to denoise at the same time salt and pepper noisy image and Gaussian multiplicative noisy image, it won't be possible and we wouldn't be able, we won't be able to train the module on several noisy image. It won't be effective.